Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please kindly subscribe. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to install a steering wheel control button into Toyota Corolla. Uh, I have a 20, 2010 Toyota Corolla and as you know, I have this Android Ed unit, but it's kind of difficult for me to um, increase, you know, the volume button when I'm driving. So that is why I'm going to replace the steering wheel control button for this car. And I got the steering wheel control button online right in the description box below. <laughs> Removing for me to do this, I'm gonna have to remove replace the clock spring. I'm gonna take out the airbag, and as well, I got the clock spring on eBay. And the reason why I'm removing the I'm replacing the clock spring is because this has uh pins to accommodate the steering wheel control button. The one on the car doesn't have all the spin, and this is how I'm gonna connect them together when I fully install it into the car. Now, if you have other model like S or XRS, you might not need to replace the clock spring because you already come with um, this kind of uh, clock spring. I am only replacing the clock spring for this car because I have the LE module. And for me to start, in, uh, first thing I need to do is to take out the airbag. And to do that, I have to disconnect the negative terminal of my battery and um, make sure I leave the battery to rest for about five minutes before I start doing anything. You have to remove the airbag and to remove the airbag, there's um, a cover over here and on the other side, you have the same cover. When you remove this cover, you will expose uh, two screws, which you will allow you to take out the uh, airbag. Uh, the screw over here and there's another one on the other side and this is a T30 Tox screw. I'm now I grab my T30 Tox screwdriver and take out the two screws on both sides. With that I will get access and then be able to remove the hair bag of this car. Now when you remove the airbag like this, you have um, connectors you have to do disconnect. First you have this, first you have to remove the, the on, the ground for the on and that's the uh, wire over there and you are left with these two yellow wires, one with the orange clip and the one with the black clip. All you just have to do is to raise the clip on top of them and you'll be able to disconnect uh, the airbag. And once the airbag is disconnected, just carefully turn it up and then place it down on the seat at the back, away from you. Now, all you have to do is just to install the steering wheel control button. That is if you have the S type or the XRS type, because you don't need to replace the clock spring but if you drive an le like mine you would need to replace the clock spring so as you can see with this new clock spring it has more uh pin connector than the one that i have already on the car and this is the reason why i'm gonna have to put a new clock spring in but first i'll show you how easy it is to install the steering wheel control button all you will need is just um, a Philippe screwdriver to take that empty slot out and then that's where you're going to be installing the steering wheel control button. Like I've mentioned previously, if you drive an S or XRS module, all you just have to do is to put the steering wheel control button and plug it into your clock spring. But because I drive 
um, the LE um, have to go further step to take out the steering wheel itself out replace the clock spring before this can work so that's a 19 millimeter bolt I need to take out before I can get access to the clock spring and this is the new clock spring I'm gonna be replacing it with first thing I need to do is to disconnect the the horn ground cable and that's the horn ground cable I'll put it aside and I need to get a marker the reason why I need to get a marker is I need to mark the bolt and the steering wheel a straight line and this will give me an indication of how um, how straight or how parallel my wheels are before I remove it out I have to make sure before I mark it that my steering my wheels are straight they're parallel and then when I take the steering wheel out and then replace it back nothing my wheels are not shaking off like I said I'm gonna be using a 19 millimeter um, socket to take this out uh, it's gonna be kind of difficult at the beginning because probably not remove the steering wheel in, in a long time and so you gotta hold it with your your legs a little bit and then you know apply a force to remove it but you don't want to remove the bolt completely you just want to leave a little bit and you're gonna go around and then bang the steering wheel you know give it some some banging because it's all steve in there and when you wiggle it if it's out you're gonna know you're gonna feel it in your hand and at that point you're gonna take the, the screw out completely and then remove the steering wheel just like this so the next thing for me to do is to remove the steering wheel column cover the one at the bottom on the top and that will expose my clock spring now next thing is for you to remove the wiring harnesses around the clock spring there are three of them you have to disconnect and you take it out this way now comparing the old one and the new one you can see the clear difference so there's one thing you need to note again from the one you removing there is some um, angle sensor if your car has an angle sensor just by looking at the back of the clock spring you have to remove the angle sensor from the old one and then put it in the new one so it's, it's, it's easy just pull the tabs by the side to get the angle sensor out and then put it in the new one Now that the angle sensor has been swapped out into my new clock spring, all I just do is slide it in there. You see the yellow tab you see over there that is holding the clock spring from spinning. But if you buy something, for whatever reason, it's misaligned, it's, it tells you that you have five tones in this clock spring. So if you ever have a problem with it, all you just have to do is to turn it to one side completely and then make a one two two and a half just make two and a half turn and there's gonna be an arrow at the bottom that is gonna be pointing and letting you know you are on you you are pretty much aligned and there's another thing there's a glass over there that's showing you an orange color if if this clock screen is not positioned well you're not gonna see that orange color anymore so just make sure two and a half turn and you're seeing the orange color on that glass and you can see for the one i have on the car it's still pointing i have that arrow and i also have the orange color so next thing is just for me to plug out all the wire harness back into the clock spring <laughs> You 
can see this is the hour I'm talking about to let you know you're pretty much aligned. And before I put my steering wheel in there, I have to break off this orange clip. And once that is done, I just throw my steering wheel back in to the collar. I have to plug in the harness into my clock spring and you can see this is just gonna fit directly into that and I want to talk in the wire well so next thing now I just have to grab the 19 millimeter bolt I took out in the first place and put it back right in there and you're gonna see reason why I said you have to mark the bolt and the steering wheel before you take it out because of the amount of um, pressure you need to put on the bolt if you tighten in this the bolt the line you made earlier will line up properly and that is a guide for you to know that oh yeah you have this you can see this is perfectly aligned and that's to tell you like your steering wheel is well aligned the way you remove it in the first place so at this point all you just have to do is to um, install your airbag into the steering wheel and you do this by plugging the the horn cable and the two airbag uh, cables So don't forget to um, put back the T30 torx screw you remove to hold the hair back down. Make sure the airbag is well properly secured and then cover the spots back. And the next thing you want to do is to put the negative terminal of your battery in place so we can get power to the car. And hopefully when you have the battery in, um, you have to start the car, but you have to be away from it so the hair bag don't blow on you if there's a problem. Boy. <laughs> see I do not have the air bag blown up there is no hair bag light or check engine light everything is fine the clock spring is working well make sure you test the on and it's working and like I mentioned if you drive S or XRX module this is all you have to do but if you drive an LE just like mine you still have to do some wiring at the back of the radio so stay tuned I'll watch the, the part two of this video where i'm going to show you all how to wire this up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up thank you and see you again sometime